On this Andy's Auto Sport Frequently Asked Questions, I'm going to answer the question, how do I test my coolant, and is it really necessary to have coolant in my engine? Well, the answer to the second part is yes, you do need to have coolant, and the reason is the proper dilution of water to coolant mix helps the uh, coolant not freeze in the winter and not boil too early in the summer. Now how you test it is very simple. You're going to want to make sure that there's no pressure in the system. The best time to do this is when the engine is cold. Uh, if you have run the system, make sure you just squeeze the upper radiator hose so that you can see there's no pressure in there and then go ahead and remove the radiator cap. If the engine is hot or there's pressure in the hose, be very careful when you remove the radiator cap. So you're going to take the radiator cap off and then you're going to use this ball tester which is an antifreeze ball tester. It's for ethylene glycol. You can buy it right here at Andy's. You're going to stick that in the radiator until it gets to the fluid. You're going to squeeze the ball of the bulb. You're going to fill it up. And then this is going to tell you how many of these balls float is going to tell you where your antifreeze level is. Now in our Project Firebird here, we only have one ball floating, which means this antifreeze is only good to, my, to uh, plus 25 degrees. Now the proper mixture of antifreeze to water will make this where it will not freeze till minus 34 degrees. And that proper mixture is 50-50. You don't ever want to run a complete 100% uh, antifreeze in your car because it actually doesn't dissipate heat very well in the summer. So the car would actually be more prone to overheating in the summer. And in the wintertime, ethylene glycol or antifreeze, the, uh, it will freeze at minus 6 degrees. Now most of us won't see that. Some of us will. Uh, so you want to make sure that you put the proper mixture of water to antifreeze in your car. Uh, radiator. Now we're going to have to drain some of this out so we can get the proper dilution. All right, now don't forget, anytime you mess with antifreeze or coolant, it is poisonous to animals and they actually like the taste. So make sure that if you drain any antifreeze or coolant out of your vehicle, that you dispose of it properly. We hope we fueled your knowledge today and we'll see you on another episode of Andy's Frequently Asked Questions.